Hello. I'm sure you've noticed the top T9 is full of resources for us to use in our lessons. My name is Sandra Luna, and today I'll be showing you a few of the many, many digital resources available in the interactive textbook. Shall we go? So when we arrive at the main page of the project, Top T9, we will see all the resources that we have available. Now, below, you will also see that there are sections. Uh, these tiles with these informa this information is going to direct you to specific resources, but we'll take a look at these further on, okay? So by clicking on the manual, which is fully interactive, so the textbook this time is fully interactive. So let's see an example of a unit. So the, the units start with a preview of what is going to be discussed throughout the units. So a very interesting resource is here, the EV stories. Now the EV stories are going to show the students what, is the, what it is that we're going to be assessing, working on, teaching, learning in this unit. So it is a, an interesting way to do some sort of assessment, needs analysis, to be aware of what students already know. Now, another interesting feature is that these boxes, whenever you click them, they can be moved around on the screen. So you can click this arrow and this is going to allow you to move it so that you can focus on having both resources available. So you will still see the page of the book that you want to work on, but at the same time, you'll have whatever resource is popping up. Let me just show you how this works. So the language that uh, was used here is quite targeted at the student's level, but also at the, whatever is going to be the main topic of the lesson itself. All right, so you can also see that in all pages, you will have resources that are exclusive for the teacher, these ones in blue down here, but you will have resources that are available for both the teacher and the student. Now, why is this interesting? Well, it is particularly interesting if you're using flipped learning. If you want to assign certain resources, certain tasks for students to do at home, and this way, when you come back to class, then you'll just be working on the language that you need to work on. You can see that there are resources here, such as the guide for the teacher. There are exercises here with, uh, with solutions. Um, for example, here we have an interactive exercise, which is very interesting to use in class. You can have the students watch the video alone or as a group, and then you can have them choose the answers that can then be checked. Okay, so I'm going to just, well, it seems like I didn't pay enough attention, so I will have to watch the video again. Now, another interesting feature of the interactive textbook is that you can also access your lesson plan. Now, here you will see that we have a reading video. Now, what's a reading video? You will have the text, fine, reading activity, and obviously you have the audio for this text. My first trip which you can adapt the speed to according to whatever is necessary as usual, right? Faster, slower. But if you click on the reading video, now you will have, apart from sound and the text itself, you will have image. Now this, this goes on to a multimodal approach where the student is going to be stimulated in several senses to be more engaged in the activity. It's particularly interesting for those students that might be um, more difficult to motivate. My first trip. Alice Buller, a 16-year-old student from Brighton, England, normally spends her summer holidays with her parents to enjoy quality time with them. Another feature that is interesting is that in the, the students' books, in the physical students' book, there will be a number of QR codes that the students will be able to access, to use, to listen to audio or video. Now, when we come to grammar section, um, the, 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 the possibility of having interactivity is tremendous and is going to be much more effective from the teacher's point of view. Now, all grammar sections will come with worksheets and also quizzes. So as you can see here, 
So this activity in particular is a climbing quiz, which again is a novelty this year, and that is going to be quite engaging, I believe, for students. So the idea is that they have a sentence, they need to fill it in with the correct option. If they get the correct option, the little dummy here, Sherlock Holmes, will be able to climb the ladder. Uh, if not, they'll stay where they are. So for example, I've checked the timetables. The concert, let me say, I'm going to choose the wrong answer on purpose. So the wrong answer disappears, but students still get a chance of choosing the correct one. So it's a good way, so it's not just lose and win. They do have a chance to, to improve and to learn from their mistakes. Now, I also mentioned quiz Evir. And we all know how these exercises can be extremely motivating for our students in class. So, because we've mentioned how important it is to make this a multimodal approach, and we've associated not just sound to text, but also to image, there is another feature this time that I think is particularly interesting, and those are the reading karaoke. Now, we all like karaoke, I think I do, at least really enjoy myself with karaoke. And the, the good part of this is that not only can the students just listen Our project and it will of six show where the text Greece, is, Ireland, Italy. but if I click on any particular part of the text, thanks to Erasmus Plus, we it can will start the from there. Students from European countries. Another feature that I think is um, quite useful, and again, it's, it's something that for me is new, is the speech recognition. So some students are really self-conscious about their pronunciation, and this is fantastic to, to help them uh, overcome those fears. So they're going to listen to the recording, again, different speeds, right? And they have to repeat after the recording. And once they do that, they receive a feedback. Now, another feature that is quite useful are the PowerPoints. So when we click here on the PowerPoint, we will be directed. We can obviously download it, but we can uh, just use it as is for our lesson. This one would be about reported speech. Talking about videos, we do have videos that are more interactive. So for example, Camp for Teens here. The video will start like a normal video, but at some point that is indicated by these little dashes here, there will be a question, right? And you will, the students will be able to be engaging more with the, with the resource itself, as well as being more self-aware of what they're doing. So when we get to the end of the unit, we will have the progress check. Now the progress check is a formative assessment. It can be sent to students as a task so that they can do it at home. And you can decide if you want to do it as a whole class or individually in class or even in pair work to have students collaborating and, um, and competing as well, if that's the strategy you want to, to choose. And here you go, you've got in the teachers only section, you've got the progress check in interactive mode. And there it goes. So it's a nice touch to have students doing the listening, for example, at their own speed, uh, at their own pace, and having, um, having more, uh, taking out more benefits from the exercise itself. So if we go back to the menu, one of the really interesting new features we have this year is Aria de Projetos. And in Aria de Projetos, you will see that there are a number of projects. This is, these are aimed at um, project-based learning, right? So for example, this one here, you have the descriptions, the aims, how long it's going to have. So you have things uh, planned for you as well. And once you click on the English section, you will see what you are able to do with this. So that was it. I'm sure you were able to see the potential of the resources that I showed you. But in case you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. See you next time.